What is up, y'all? It is Whiskey Wednesday. We are having another with Espo. I'm still Espo. Thanks for coming by. I am fucking tired. <laughs> it's actually like nine o'clock on Wednesday, and we're uh, we're gonna have a little whiskey. Um, usual thing. I'm just making a whiskey cocktail today because feels like a thing to do. I found a really cool looking one online. It's called. Uh, hold on. A vieux carré. French teachers growing up, how was that? I hated you anyway. I don't care. Cool. It's a vieux carré. A vieux carré, whatever you want to say. It's a New Orleans thing. Say it Cajun style. It's fine. I think it was way different. I think there's an R in there if you say it that way. This is primarily, uh, it's very mixed drink, uh, but it starts off with rye. So let's let's go pick out a rye, shall we? Uh, easy to reach. We're going to go with the Rittenhouse. Hunter Proof, Bob and Bond. Delightful. Is a mixed drink. So we'll be mixing it up a little bit. We'll get some ice on the floor like savages. In it goes. So, three quarters of an ounce of rye. Again, it calls for a bit of a stronger rye. 100 proof ought to do ya. We have some stronger ones than that. I don't think we need to go up to the 120. That might be a touch much. So we'll pop that to the side. Next up, we need three quarters of an ounce of cognac. So back to the trusty shelf. Bow. A little bit of cognac. Equal parts so far. We're laughing. Rye, cognac, sounds like a Sazerac already. It's not. That's just what New Orleans does, apparently. Three quarters in the tin. There we go. Back on the shelf you go. Next up, three quarters of an ounce of oh, sweet vermouth. Found it. And we're going with the martini, because apparently that's the bottle I grabbed out of the fridge, that I very much grabbed out of the fridge. I, I would have grabbed the Dolan. But here we are. Three quarters of an ounce of, of, of sweet vermouth. <laughs> Forgot about that part. We're not loving life so much anymore. We need one to two ounces, or dashes, ounces. That'd be a lot. One to two dashes of Angostura bitters. Boom, boom. In she goes. Wouldn't be a proper New Orleans co cocktail without some Peychaud, so one to two dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Get some of that black licor licorice flavor in there. Two big boy dashes. Holy smokes. Get that in there. And here's where the fun part comes in. Some amount of Benedictine. How much? I don't actually know. The one recipe called for uh, half an ounce and then called for two dashes. One to two dashes, so that's uh, a disparity. Uh, another one called for two bar spoons. I'm just going to put half an I like Benedictine. I'm going to put two ounces, or, or half an ounce. That sounds like a good game plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. In she goes. Half an ounce. This is a massive chuck and drink. We're going to give that a stir until we see some frost on the side here. This is going to be quite the cocktail. We're looking at about, if the math serves, about 58% ABV in the overall cocktail. That's after adding in everything else. That's with the 100 proof. That's with the bitters. That's with everything. We're laughing on there. That should be cool enough. We're going to call that a day. Get that, and we're going to strain into... Thanks, Magda. Strain into our murder glass. Preferably a chilled glass, but hey, do what you do. Typically, this would be garnished. I'm going to pop that down there. Thanks again, Magda. Typically, this would be gar garnished with either a, uh, a cherry or probably, I think, a fresh cherry or a, uh, a lemon twist. Didn't, didn't get those. I, they're upstairs. I'm not running upstairs to get them once I started. I realized I didn't have them when I started pouring the rye, and I didn't want to restart because it's fucking late already. Let's give this a sniff, shall we? Ooh. Benedictine's doing some work. Cognac's doing some nice sniffing. The bitters are right there. Can it cover up the shitty vermouth? Let's find out. Take a sip. That's real tasty. Ooh, the Benedictine and the vermouth are playing off each other crazy like. I love that. That's wonderful. I got a feeling as this gets warmer, though, I'm going to start hating it. Uh, but 
as it's nice and chilled like this. That's a beautiful sipping drink. Oh, man. Bucure. There we go. Thanks again, New Orleans. Ain't been to you, but liking everything you do. Beignets sound delightful, too. That's wonderful. That's a lovely weekend drink. That might be a touch much for Wednesday. I think I done goofed. Um, but fuck it. Here we are. Happy Whiskey Wednesday, y'all. Thanks for coming by. Cheers.